I cannot believe it happens to, to, to the house. It's really dangerous. We got a little surprise with one of those branches coming down right here. Right now at eight streets, lawns and roadways left littered with trees and power lines. Tonight, the remnants of Debbie are starting to move out of the area. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. We remain on red alert with a close eye on this storm that has left a long trail of damage in the region. A massive tree went down in Queens this morning and the damage did not end there. We're seeing similar scenes play out in the Bronx. And now crews are scrambling to keep the power on as utility lines snap underneath the weight of those rain-soaked branches. We have team coverage here tonight, beginning with Vanessa Murdoch and your first alert forecast. Vanessa? Yeah, there is some good news at this hour, Christine. We are seeing dramatic improvement in the current conditions. So we still have some threats from the remnants of Debbie. We're going to stay on red alert through 9 p.m. Heavy rain moves through the region as we speak. Many places picking up a half an inch to two inch. We still can deal with some gusty winds. But here is the best news of all. The tornado to watch has been dropped for all of us. So that is an excellent improvement. The winds are still a factor and quite frankly, the winds have been the biggest problem with this storm system for us. Gusting 40, 50 miles per hour earlier today until 11 p.m. As of now, National Weather Service has a big portion of the region under a wind advisory with winds possibly gusting up to 40 miles per hour. But when we look at the current wind gusts, notice where they are. 21 miles per hour in the city, 30 in Babylon, much calmer than we dealt with earlier today. As far as the rain goes, we've got this line that was basically the trailing front of the storm that looked so much more put together earlier. Now it's really starting to fall apart. So we have some heavy rain well north of the region exiting Dutchess County. And as we follow the line back through Westchester, it's basically moderate rain on the island. We have a pocket in western Suffolk of light to moderate rainfall. And then to the west, some more showers that will swing through overnight. We're going to watch Watch this system as it makes its exit drop a little bit more in the way of rainfall and then by tomorrow what we're going to see are clearing skies and dropping humidity. Big improvements will continue through the overnight setting the stage for a fabulous weekend but please be mindful we still have some activity out there before skies begin to clear 71 tonight and then stunning tomorrow at 85. Christine back to you. Thank you Vanessa. People across the tri-state are not only watching the skies but they're also keeping a close eye on the ground due to toppled trees and power lines. Ali Bauman is in Woodlawn in the Bronx where residents are now waiting to get back into their homes. Thankfully, nobody was hurt here, but some residents are waiting to see if they'll be able to get back in their homes tonight. Crews work to start cutting down branches on East 234th Street off Cotona Avenue in the Bronx. Around noon Friday, this massive tree uprooted, took down a power line, and collapsed on multiple cars, landing with branches against row houses on the other side. The damage knocked out power for hundreds of residents, and we also saw traffic lights out at intersections in the neighborhood. I was at the window, and pretty much the tree started coming down. It was pretty slow because I think it was being held by the power lines. And then at some point it snapped because this snapped and it all came coming down, like it all came crashing down. And residents in the area told us they weren't particularly worried about the health of this tree before it came down, but they feel that the ground was so saturated from all the rain this week that the strong winds today made it easily able to knock over. In Woodlawn, Ali Bauman, CBS News, New York. The tree went down in Queens this morning. The homeowner says no one was inside, but she says she's complained about this tree to the city for years. The large tree just toppled onto the house on 42nd Avenue in Auburndale. The same woman has been living there in the home for seven years and says that she has asked for that tree to be removed. We did reach out to the city regarding the complaint and are still waiting to hear back. Gusty winds also a concern now on Long Island. They picked up this morning taking down a tree on the Southern State Parkway. Experts say branches are heavy with leaves and moisture. They'll say, oh, it's not going to rain. They don't think about the other object here. Like I said, it's the wind and things blow around. Garbage cans blow around. Furniture blows around. Uh, and like I said, most importantly, these, these branches are going to be coming down. There are high wind advisories in effect for Nassau and Suffolk counties until tomorrow morning. Things improving tonight at the airports after a wild day for air travelers. Here's a live look at LaGuardia right now. That is where 227 flights were actually canceled today because of the storms. JFK had nearly 500 flights canceled and Newark Airport reporting 410 cancellations. 
We will have continuing coverage throughout the hour as we track the latest on these storms. And of course, we always have the latest weather updates on our website, cbsnewyork.com.